Hello, trappers. I hope y'all can hear me. I'm uh, gonna put in a uh, trap, and I have a Duke number three, and uh, I got all my equipment out here. <clears throat> there we go. It's gonna be a punch hole. This is a food plot that did bush hog. And uh, so, uh, and this Duke number three I laminated and uh, that latched it. This is uh, a leaf that I trapped earlier in the year, and they called me wanting to get it reset. And I'm been trying to find a place where there's no ants. It's been kind of hard. And the ground's awful hard because it ain't rained here in a month and a half. See if it's fit. We'll have to. That likes a little bit. I'm in kind of a hurry because I got to get this all done for so I can go to church. Yeah, like some. Looks okay there. Need to nap back it. There it goes. <clears throat> this place here is real wet when it rains, but it hadn't rained in a month and a half. Every now and then a trapper get me. Best of these night latches, they kind of hair triggers. Put some peat 
off, ain't it? Gotta make it pretty stable. Right, got me again. Boy, I think hair trigger. more feet balls down in there. I normally use MB550, but I'm, I'm gonna try the trap that I'm uh, modified. <clears throat> Alright, looks pretty good. There's a bit more. There we go. Well, that's my doggone <clears throat> drill auger at the truck, so I don't have to make a punch hole. A little deeper. There we go. Taking my gloves off here. Let's see what we got. Uh, we got. I'm gonna put a little top dog in there. I got my homemade bait there, but I'm gonna put a little top bag, uh, top dog in it. Yeah, I'm gonna put a a little bit of Violator 7 back there. Like I said, I've been having trouble finding places to trap, trying to keep the ants away. It's been kind of hard. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna put some black black gold in it. This came from Indiana Hoosier Trapping Supply, and I really like black gold.
Then I'm gonna put some finicky feline on it. That's good trout. Cow uh, lure. Made for bobcats, but I've caught a lot of cows off this finicky feline. All right, that's pretty much done. Now I want to get some uh, some of this uh, bush hog grass and kind of spread it around a little bit. Yeah, like I said, I'm kind of a hurry. But that church. My wife would get mad if I don't make it, so <clears throat> Yeah, she gonna get mad because I'm dirty. Already. Get some of these big pieces out. Make sure that pan's a little open. All right. That's pretty much the set. This is the uh, eight traps that I said I had this morning. There's a lot of foxes out here so I can catch a fox. <clears throat> I can sell them too, so that's okay. Getting old sucks. I hope y'all like it. Uh, what this is, is uh, yeah, I'm about to turn the screen if I can. Oh, I heard you. What this is, is uh, about a half acre bush hog food plot. And I uh, left these out in the middle here left these clumps of uh, brush down through here and there's the feeder and there's the stand up there and they bush hogged it i found where he's coming in here getting mice rabbits and uh so set a trap here right here at the point of one of them I should put two in here, but I don't have one more trap with me, so I probably won't. But yeah, that's what this is. It's a uh, no food plot. They bush hog, and the uh, person that bush hog it said when he bush hogged it, mice went everywhere. So you know they have to come in here and feed. Okay. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to the Trap in the Washita Hill Country. And uh, I'll sure appreciate it. Like it and, and, and comment. I don't mind the comments. I have a lot of hate comments. And uh, hey, I just let that just go past my head. And I don't worry about it. And you get a lot of them. But anyway, there's a catch pole that I made. 
anyway i'm gonna catch y'all later like i said subscribe and like to the trapping to washita hill country this is gary wizen hunt and we signing off tight chains and good luck